of Allah the Almighty be upon all of you. In the name of Allah the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. I am Umar ibn Abid and in this video I am going to show you how to check hit numbers, how to check quick display and how to hide hit numbers, how to hide quick display and what is sort by case, sort by characters, delimiter and line break replacement in tool preferences in concordance tool. So our main topic is tool preferences in concordance tool and all these options are available in tools preferences. So let's open and conk and upload a file. So now let me search a word. Good. Now in tools preferences, if I go to tool preferences, so you can look at a few options here. First is the category. In, con in category, we have chose the option concordance and then hit numbers, quick display, file name and other options are treat, case, insert, sort by characters instead of words, hide search term in quick display, put delimiter around hits in quick display and de delimiter and line break re replacement. So if I s uh, unmark hit numbers and then apply so all of these hit numbers will be hidden uh, if i unmark this quick display so all these results will be hidden and if i unmark this file name all files will be hidden so after unmark unmarking all of these i will press the button apply and you can look at all of the block has been grayed out and there is nothing now I mark all of these and let's move on to other options so first we will look at treat case in sort so normally when we want to look at words according to their case capitals and then small letters so we choose this option after choosing that option you have to press the button start so now you can look at that it has searched all these levels according to their capitalization ascending to descending order first all capitalization will be appear and then small letters will be appear according to lines and according to file arrangement now let's move on to the uh, to another tools preference and that is sort by characters characters instead of words so in this way you can check out spelling of one's writing so let's me apply and then press the button start so now you can look at that it has searched and it is now analyzing uh, characters rather than words now another preference is to hide search term in quick display and actually it is a very interesting option even you can generate tests and if, uh, even if you can uh, you can learn many words with this option so when you click on this so uh, these search terms will be grayed out so you know you can create fill in the blanks you can generate tests or you can learn context words vocabulary even for second language learners etc so another tool preference is put delimiter around hits in quick display so uh, delimiter mean uh, there uh, will be a delimiter between uh, this search term and before uh, and the term before search term so there will be a delimiter if I select the option tab so there will be a space if I select the option uh, colon or semicolon so a semicolon will be act uh, will act as a delimiter so I select the option tab and now I will apply and press the button start 
so in this way there is a delimiter so what is the purpose and uh, what we can get with this delimiter so if I want to put this result on Excel sheet and I want to keep this term uh, in the middle and in another column so it will help me otherwise uh, if there is no delimiter so all of the the whole row will be uh, pasted only in one column so now let me select so I should open a new file actually I have already done it but I wanted to show you so now control V and in this way you can see that the size term is in the middle column and with this you can even print this you can have print out of these results so this is the way to generate results with the help of delimiter now let's move on to the last tool preference and that is line break replacement that after every line there is a space so that space should be shown by only space a normal space or a slash mark or this percentage sign so I will select this percentage sign otherwise by default it is space so now unmark delimiter option and apply now press the button start so here you can see many times for example document the file uh, and after document there is a line break and then another line has started so this is the function of line break replacement and how can we check it otherwise instead of uh, this sign you can also have a slanting sign or uh, you can also have just a simple space so this is all about uh, at Kong tutorial 4 I hope you would have learned it what I wanted to tell you so I know my English is not very good because I'm not a native speaker but I'm trying hard so don't forget to give your feedback remember in your prayers and thank you